experiencing major cloudiness with a chance of meatballs. But don't worry, a warm front is coming in real soon. Back to you, Katie. Thanks, Katie. Well, that's it for today, folks. Next up is Backstage Bite with Katie Lynch. <laughs> So here we right. are again. Okay, what else do you like? <laughs> oh man, I love cold weather. I don't think I could live anywhere where I couldn't have a collection of coats. That's something Ooh. I love. Burritos and coats. And coats. High waisted jeans. <laughs> and candy. Let's just get down to it. Okay. How much do you know about cooking and baking? Um, I love baking. I make pies at home. I am very excited. I love baking. We are going to be baking Roundhog Crumbles! Yeah! Let's do it! So we're going to get started a little funkily. Great. Funkily? Yeah. Sure. You are going to crush up one cup of cereal. Ah! ah. You got so many audience questions. Oh, awesome! One of our audience questions today, this is from Phoebe Shove. And they want to know top three dressing room must-haves. Ooh, good one. I would say a plant is my number one thing that I would yeah. like to have in my space. Makeup remover. I use Ooh. coconut oil to take off my makeup and a place to sleep. Perfect. Do you know what else is perfect? <gasps> Ooh, yeah. Are you proud? Oh, I'm so proud of you. Oh. Now, I need one and a third cups of flour. This is another fan question. This is from Groundhog Day, the musical fan. Oh, okay, I think I know who this is. They want to know, in your mind, what happens to Rita following Groundhog Day? There's a version of it where me and Andy, have, <laughs> me and Andy have talked about, where they end up moving to Punxsutawney and he has a day, like a daytime talk show that she produces. <laughs> and, and like Ned is like the traveling like correspondent. Nancy and Larry get married Obviously. and have babies. That beautiful be, mixed race yeah, babies. Beautiful mixed race babies <laughs> who are all like the child performers on the show and like cooking tips with Chubby. We have like a whole world like Phil and Rita's daytime talk show. I would watch it. All right, you need three tablespoons of sugar in the rock. We are so on the same Shut wavelength up. today. We finish each other's sandwiches. Now you're going to do some important things, like two teaspoons of baking powder. Oh, she is a pro. She flattens it out on the edge. Yes. And yep. then I want you to do a pinch of salt. Oh, she's doing a fancy too. When else am I going to get the opportunity to do that on camera? If you had a day in your life mm -hmm. as Barrett, mm -hmm. what day would you want to relive? Actually, just a few days ago when we met Bill Murray. The first time he came, him being everything that you would want Bill Murray to be. He was kind, he was funny, he was absolutely awesome. Awesome. Yeah, he was just <laughs> awesome. Okay. All right, Barrett. It is time to mix all of these ingredients together. It's time, time to, to mix that! That was pretty so cool. We didn't even try our notes ahead of time. Apparently that's not been done before. I want it to go rogue. Describe your perfect prints. Rita has the longest has list 
a very long list. Happily, I I got one I like a lot, but really, really funny. Incredibly smart. It's an amazing cook. Tall. That's really nice because I'm quite tall. Brown, mocha colored, like me. Oh, that's really nice. I, I love a beard. Oh, my boyfriend's bald, and that totally oh. doesn't bother me. I think it's amazing. So you want bald and, and a beard? Bald and a beard. Can I trust you with this? Yes. 100%. <laughs> I can't be shaken that easily. I watched my leading man go down. <gasps> and <laughs> right. I was terrified, but we finished that show. The show must go on. The show must go on. No, you are going to use your clean little hands. I did clean them. And you're gonna make it into a ball. This is from Hidden Sky. If you were stuck in a loop, mm -hmm. what? One food would you eat over and over? Did you even ask? <laughs> burrito. If you were to open a burrito shop, yeah, what would it be called? <laughs> uh, burrito. Probably. <laughs> That's so good. Burrito. <laughs> I T T O. Burrito. Okay, my dear. You need one stick of melted butter and half a cup. Of sugar in the raw. This is a fan question. Okay. This is from Shanphilia. What does Rita's notebook look like at this point? Oh, I think this is from Shannon. She's one of our, our super fans. So hi, Shannon. Rita's notebook, actually, I've gone through one of them because I used the same one for all of rehearsals and into the first like month or two of performance. But Rita's notebook is essentially scribbles. Fun fact, I write on the same page for one whole performance. I don't flip pages. Now we are going to roll the into small balls. How small is it? The size of a bouncy ball. What part of the show do you look forward to every night? I mean, Andy do like a fun dance at places. We always do a dance. So it all started because Andy is a great dancer. He used to do this thing in rehearsal that always just cracked me up where he would go one of the moments in the show that I love. He calls Strut Diner, which takes place when he's in the the fur jacket, um, it changes almost nightly. That scene is so much fun. two characters in Groundhog Day. I'm in the opening number. So I renamed my character, and her name is Pam. Pam! And my theory about Pam, because she's only in the opening number, I have a theory that she was murdered by the sheriff <laughs> the night of Groundhog Day, and that's why she never comes back. Because she's last seen with the sheriff. Because also, Pam loves to party. She likes <gasps> her boyfriend makes fake IDs. And like, so if you're interested, like I can talk to Jared and he'll like help you out. Now you're going to dip your dough balls fully into the sugar and butter. The perfect amount of dough, I would like you to drizzle it yeah. all on top. We want all the gooeyness. Yes, we do. <laughs> we need to put these in the oven. Okay. okay. 425 degrees for 25 minutes. And then we get to play a super duper, super duper, super fun game. I love games. It's called Quick Fire Questions. Okay. Ready, set, go. What did you have for dinner? Chicken. Mom and dad's names. Kelly and Carl. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Favorite color? Purple. Best friend's name? Austin. Bra or no bra? Bra. Hunter or gatherer? Hunter. Dream vacation? Mexico. Mac or PC? Mac. Morning person or night owl? Morning. Loud or quiet? Loud. East coast or west coast? East. Thank you. Favorite movie? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> day. I don't know. <laughs> Are you ready to eat these? I'm so excited. You've been talking about it all day. <laughs> so pick them. They're hot out of the oven. Cheers. 
That's great. It's like sweet cornbread cookie. Oh, it's that bread. crumble. Mm -hmm. More like a coffee cake almost. Oh, yeah. This is delightful. <laughs> Good. Can you tell me how I can follow you because I just want to be your friend? Sure. <laughs> I'm just Barrett underscore Doss. My Instagram is don't go underscore Jason Waterfalls. I don't thought. go Jason Waterfall. Well, that's where, that's where you can find me. <laughs> the rivers. <laughs> In the lakes. Oh yeah, Groundhog Day is at Groundhog Day V-Way. It's at the August Wilson Theater on 52nd Street. I had seriously so 